Hello, my name is Amy Ecker and welcome to my channel. So today I am doing this face off between the Marc Jacobs Shameless and the Marc Jacobs Remarkable. So I'm going to do an all day wear test. Already I have some opinions that I'll share with you. The Marc Jacobs, this one is in a medium uh, R300. It's a youthful look 24 hour foundation and I'll get to why I think it's a youthful look in a minute. And then I have the Marc Jacobs Remarkable, and this happens to be one of my favorite foundations ever. So I always make sure I have one of these, and this is in the color Bisque Medium. All right, so initial first impressions, since I haven't gone through the day as far as a full day wear test, you'll see that in a little while. Um, so this youthful Marc Jacobs, it, it does have, by the way, a sunscreen SPF 25. I just went down a rabbit trail, don't know why I needed to tell you that. But anyways, I think the youthful look is because this foundation is maybe for someone more youthful. Maybe someone that um, has a uh, cleaner canvas to start with. What does that mean, right? So y'all will get ready to see my face. My face is always very red, blotchy, etc. It's always a hot mess. And for me, I like a more full coverage foundation or a medium one that I can build up so that I can hide all my many multitudes of flaws. This one is a lighter coverage than the Remarkable from Marc Jacobs. Now the Remarkable I like because it is full coverage. It goes on and immediately um, removes any of my leopard spots as I lovingly like to call them and I keep getting more leopard spots as I age. Yay! No, it's not yay. But anyways, between the two, this one is full coverage from the get-go. This one, you've got to kind of build up a little bit. So there is a difference between the two formulas in my opinion so we're going to see how this goes on i do a spot check after i uh, powder etc my face so you'll get to see that and then later today i'll be doing the end of the day and you'll get to see um, what the difference is there so i'm hoping you enjoy this video as i put mark against mark for an all-day wear test so if you want to see how this works you're in the right spot. Okay, Stay tuned. so today we're going to use Marc Jacobs Shameless against Marc Jacobs Remarkable. And let's see how these do. This one is in medium R300. This one is in 26 bisque medium. Since I am using Marc Jacobs, I figured I will go ahead and use their his primer, which is the Invisible Undercover. We're gonna let that soak in a moment. I think I'll do shameless on my left, your right. Okay, that's all bounced in. Now we will use the Remarkable on my right, your left. This tends to be one of my favorites. I love this foundation. All right, we'll use the other side of the sponge. So already just in looking at this, the Shameless is a lot lighter coverage and the Remarkable is a full coverage. So I feel like I can still see some of the redness even though I've bounced that into the skin where the Remarkable side I just don't see the redness and it covered my little age spots. So. I was hoping the Shameless was going to be a lot more like the Remarkable in that way, but it doesn't seem to be. So I'm going to go ahead and continue to put on my makeup and check back in in just a minute and let you know how I liked how everything sat up. So, hmm. So 
Sofa, I'm just not a fan of the Shameless like I am the Remarkable. For my skin anyways. Okay, so I'll be back. Okay, so I've got my face makeup set in or put on. So I'm gonna go ahead and add some Scandinavia setting spray. And then I'm gonna go ahead and finish out my eyes. So it did set into the skin nice. I On the side that has the Shameless, we are, I already know that the Remarkable set up nice because that's my favorite. But yeah, so now I've got the Shameless um, setting up with the powder. So everything bounced in nice. Um, I've got a nice Okay, so it look. is end of day. How did Mark do against Mark? And yes, I do have different makeup on than the start of the video because I had planned on filming the end of the day when I flew into Vegas and I was gonna film it for my grandmother's house and found out she was in the hospital in ICU. So, needless to say, her health came before the filming, of course. And um, so anyways, I thought I'd go ahead and do the end of the day. So yes, my makeup does look different right now. But this half of my face is Marc Jacobs Shameless, and this half of my face was Marc Jacobs Remarkable. So we're gonna zoom in and get close and personal. Okay, so we're close and personal now, and let's see how it did. So overall, um, both sides around the chin look good now i was out in the field all day today so i was not resting my hands my fingers on my chin um the nose basically i did have some glasses on so you can see the glasses kind of rub through we've got the modeling kind of look where it's kind of pulled away in different spots and it's stuck to dry patches this side you can see um, same thing we've got basically it kind of cracking and where my glasses were looks a little cakey looks a little cakey the cheeks and side of my face look fine on both sides and really and truthfully my forehead looks fine on both sides this looks like my mascara is flaking Okay, so we're gonna zoom back out now that you've seen up close and personal. So what's kind of my final thoughts on the Mark versus Mark? So the Shameless is a much thinner consistency of a foundation. When I put it on, you could still see my red through my face. It's, it's kind of like a more of a pinkish tone. On the Remarkable side, it is truly a full coverage foundation. To be honest, I love the full coverage foundation side much better. I don't like that my reds kind of peek through and look a little pinkish. So for me, I don't know if you can pick it up on camera, but in person I can tell the side for Shameless is, is just a lighter coverage. And I think for women that have clear skin or don't have issues with redness, acne, um, maybe some spotting, age spots, etc. I think the Shameless does give you a youthful look because your skin is always already fantastic. So it is a lighter coverage. Now, as far as the Remarkable, I love the Remarkable. I mean, it just covers from the get-go. It leaves a nice kind of matte finish. To me, the Remarkable is, is one of my favorites. It's now on my top three. I just added a third foundation that's my favorite. That's another time. But I do like how the Remarkable covers. I, you know, you can't see my age spots. You can't see the redness in my face. So uh, Marc Jacobs Remarkable will remain in my top three. I think for, again, for the Shameless Foundation, maybe if I use um, some color corrector underneath, this Shameless Foundation will be fine. I think at the end of the day, they both look similar. They both kind of fall apart at glasses. Um, they kind of both stick to dry patches. 
So nothing special with either of those. It just really comes down to, can you do a light to medium coverage or can you do a full coverage? Because that in itself is the only difference. They perform the same after you get them on the skin. So I hope this helps you understand the difference between the Marc Jacobs Shameless and the Marc Jacobs Remarkable. And that could help you with your future purchases. So thank you again for watching. I have a great time doing this. Thank you, thank so, you much so much fun. for watching this video. Lord have mercy. Thank you so much for watching this video using the Marc Jacobs Shameless on my left, your right. I had to think about that. Had to think about that. And then the Marc Jacobs Remarkable on my right, your left. So I'm hoping that y'all had an opportunity to see how these two function differently and maybe that'll help you purchase it. I do think if you've got a clear skin or a maybe not as bad of a start with the skin as mine is, the Marc Jacobs Shameless would be fantastic. But for me already, I know that the Marc Jacobs Remarkable is my favorite. So anyways, I hope this helped you with your purchasing. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, please consider subscribing or refer me to a friend. And as always, you have a choice, so make it a great one. Until next time.